Hello and welcome to my Game Maker 8 video tutorial. I am Robogable for those who don't know me yet. And in this video I'll be showing you how to make a simple defense game uh, using Game Maker 8 Pro. If you do not have Game Maker 8 Pro, it doesn't matter, you can still follow along. If you don't if you have the light version, you'd probably be lacking a few features but the game would still be running. And for those who have the earlier versions of Game Maker such as Game Maker 6 or G Game Maker 7, then still follow along because you can always copy the code into your um, your earlier versions of Game Maker. Now, first of all, I'll be showing you an example of what we're going to make. You can find the game on GameSheep.com, and the uh, the game's called Troy. So I'll be showing you how what we're gonna make. Now, the objective of this game is you can obviously see your castle at the right at the left that you have to defend you don't see any gameplay yet because I haven't started so yeah now as you can see in this game you, you can control your crossbow things and you have to destroy the enemy and you can also create some units as well pretty simple game We'll be making something like this in Game Maker. Where you'd actually control the crossbow and yeah. And for those who want to learn more, I'll also be making part two of the tutorial where an AI will actually control the crossbow using a script which actually calculates the the angle that it should fire. Okay, it's had enough of that. Now let's get started. Now I advise you guys download my GMK GMK file in the in the link in the description or my channel page. And as you can see here, it should in the in the link it should have everything set so you can follow along. But in the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be making it up along the way, so yeah. Now, first of all, we have our sprites. And for those who don't know what sprites are or any of these thing things are, I suggest you you watch my Learning the Ropes Game Maker um, video tutorial. It shows you the basics of how to um, you know, like run the program, use it. But it won't actually show you how to make a game. It's just for the basics for those who are really new to the program. Okay, so let's get started. Now, first of all, if you check, we have our sprites into little semi groups, like directories. As you can see here, is some um, soldier. I I kind of rushed him. You know, I'm not really good at animating. This one makes him die. These are all sprites, that's a mask. And you'll, you'll also have your crossbow. There's some rushed grass and a pretty bad castle. So, okay, let's get started. Now, first of all, we're going to be making. First of all, we create our object. And we'll give it the sprite walk. And we'll name this bad soldier <coughs> make him visible yes because we want him to see, we want to see it we don't want to make him solid because he's going to be moving death does not matter at the moment yes mask put the mask as that if you don't understand what a mask is this is basically the the collision so for example if an arrow hit him, it would only. It, it won't. If an arrow hits him, um, without a mask, if it like touches, you know, even this bit here, it would, um, it would basically, you know, he'd touch it. But for example, marks are really used useful if you, for example, um, want to have some ghost, and let's say you want to give him a small mask so that. He can only get hit if he's like specifically hit in the center. 